ProVision Mentorship is one of several strategic focuses of ProVision Solutions, Inc. I'm Jim Ewing, and mentorship can make a difference. This is one of several interviews with those who've experienced mentorship. Learn from their experiences. Then take a moment and share your experiences on our blog, ProVision Mentorship. I think that who I am today is a result of having been mentored. Um, my first boss, Tony Taniguchi, was president of KT Superstores. Uh, took me under his wings, uh, taught me a lot about business, about life, about how to manage myself first, and how to then lead others. Gave me a lot of opportunities to position myself for uh, success in the future. What type of help can a mentor provide? Well, the mentee, of course, will gain all of the wisdom, knowledge, contacts, uh, I'll call them gifts from the mentor. So it's obvious what the mentee gains. He gains um, confidence, he gains um, skills, uh, knowledge, inspiration. For the mentor, I'm, I'm a firm believer that to teach is to learn. To teach is to learn. So the more you teach, the more you learn. It validates your thinking, validates your philosophies. And so that's the benefit for the mentor. Both definitely benefit from that uh, relationship. I think that the fundamental objective of a mentor, in my opinion, is to set people up to succeed, to help them find their gifts, help them find their talents, nurture these gifts and talents, so one day they can take these gifts and share them with other people. And um, to do that, I think you have to instill confidence, but to instill confidence, you've got to give them an opportunity to spread their wings. You have to provide them support, education, um, advice, but ultimately, you've got to let them fly. And that's what my boss told me to do. He, he recognized a talent, he recognized a gift. He gave me the opportunity to go out there and build on it, uh, expand on it, develop it, and then begin sharing it with people. So today I have a company, 30 years old, because of my mentor. Talk with us about the development of the mentorship relationship. I think it, it, it's grounded in trust. Uh, I think both sides have to trust each other. Uh, I believe trust comes from what I call the three riti. The three riti are three words that end in R-I-T-Y, three riti. The first riti is uh, charity. I think the mentee has to know that this mentor is coming from the right place. They come from their heart, they care, it's sincere, it's humble. Uh, the second routine is clarity. Uh, the mentee is not going to respect the mentor if the mentor cannot help this mentee find clarity, clarity of direction, clarity of thought, uh, clarity of how to do things, how to navigate your way through difficult times. So, charity, he has to trust the person's heart. Clarity, he has to trust the person's intellect, abilities, competence. And the third really is integrity, and that's that he's got to recognize that this mentor is going to walk, walks his talk. He's not just saying things. His, his espoused values match his behaviors, in other words. And uh, confidentiality is, is respected. Um, but yeah, the, those are the three really. And without the three really, I don't think there's going to be trust in that relationship. Right? If you trust somebody's heart, you trust their head, and you trust their character, what else do you really have to trust? Is it possible for a mentorship relationship to be mutually beneficial? It's, it it kind of reminds me of, uh, in some of my classes, we do this um, life cycle process where you get from the beginning to the middle to the end. Um, I think the key to this whole deal is that it has to become systemic. Um, there's got to be some kind of a system established which, which brings in some continuity, some regularity, um, in leadership, you cannot lead without frequency of contact. And if you, if you lose that frequency of contact, you lose the continuity, it all falls apart. It's got to be a habitual ritual. Because if you can't sustain the contact, the frequency of contact, uh, I, I, I think the mentorship relationship will, will eventually uh, dissipate or it'll diminish. 
Have you got some tips for both the protege and the mentor? Tony always told us that uh, the role of a leader is to set people up to succeed. Set people up to succeed. And I think that is the fundamental objective of any mentor. To set people up to succeed, I think the key ingredient is to give them confidence. And Tony had faith in me, he had trust in me. I was just, I didn't know anything about leadership, but he saw something in me and gave me the opportunity to nurture that gift, that talent, that seed. And um, I think that's what they do. They, 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 they help you grow. What final thoughts would you share with those considering entering into a mentorship relationship? I think for the mentor, it's an opportunity to help people to grow. Uh, the slogan line for my company, Leadership Works, is the way to grow. It's the way to grow. And I think that's got to be the slogan line for a mentor. You've got to show people and help people discover their way to grow. Because I think growth is, is everything. I mean, that's all the crux of leadership. Now it's your turn to share your experience with mentorship. Visit our blog, ProVision Mentorship. Make the investment in mentorship today for your success tomorrow.